hi modern fashion designers you're welcome back to class this is modern woman apparel i want to say a very big thank you to all my returning subscribers and if this is your first time here you're highly welcome please join us by hitting on the subscribe button turn on your notification bell so as to get notified whenever i upload a new video thank you so guys in today's class you're going to be learning how to draft pad and sew a full scale of shoulder block for different cup sizes this means that you'll be learning how to tighten the under bust and over bust based on your client cup size in our previous tutorials on bust you have always told you how to tighten the over bust and under bust based on the bust circumference but today we are going to be looking at the bust size the cup size of the client you're working with you will agree with me that a person may have a big bust circumference but end up using a small bra cup so today we are going to be tightening the over bust and under bust based on the different cup sizes so based on the cup size of the person you're working with so that we don't end up creating a bust here that is bigger than their cup size so these are the body measurements that we'll be needing for this class and the first thing we are going to be doing is to draft out the front part first before going over to the back and the first thing i'm going to do now is to mark out the length vertically downwards so guys this is my starting line which will also serve as my shoulder line here and here i'm using this point here this edge as the center front so this is 11 inches for the bust point 14.5 for the under bust 18 inches for the waist length and what i have here is um 27 inches so the actual blouse length is 26 plus one inch for folding allowance so what i have here is 27 inches so having done this the next thing we are going to do now is to get the basic neckline we do not need it for this club but it will serve as a guide for us so the basic neckline i'm working with is 3.75 i got it by dividing the ball circumference by 12 so i'll just make a point there and after that i'll get the shoulder width so i'm working with shoulder of 16 i'll divide it by two divided by two is eight inches so from this point of eight inches i'll come down by 10 inches for the armhole depth from here is 10 inches i got it by dividing the bust circumference by six plus 1.5 that is for the armhole then i'll add extra one inch for shoulder slope because i'm taking it straight from here i'm not taking this measurement from the shoulder slope i'm taking it straight from this line here that is the reason for the additional one inch so after this i also make sure that the same eight inches i have here is also on this point here so this is the eight inches here and before i connect i'll come down from the shoulder by 1.5 for the front shoulder slope and i'll make my shoulder slope line here and rule the armhole line next is for me to also rule the chest line so remember we do not need the neck depth because this is an off shoulder these all this part here are just for a guide so after this the next thing i'm going to be getting is the dark line by dividing the nipple to nipple by two so the nipple to nipple i'm working with is 7.5 i'll divide it by two and i'll get 3.75 so this 3.75 i'll mark it from the blast length all the way to the bust point so i'll come in by 3.75 and connect with a straight line so after this i'll determine the off shoulder drop down so you can come down from the shoulder line here by four four and a half five six but i want to do six inches for this client so i'll come down by six inches for the off shoulder now make a straight line there I also come here on this shoulder slope here i'll divide what i have there by two so i'll divide what i have here by two and make a mark on the midpoint and connect from this point here straight to this boss point line after this it's time for us to do our over boss and under boss tightening so remember i told you that in this class i'm going to be teaching us the accurate under boss and over boss tightening for the different cup size so today we are not working based on the bust circumference of the person we are working based on the cup size or the breast size of the person because 
a person may have a bigger ball circumference but is still making use of a small cup that way if you take the dart based on their ball circumference the roundness of the balls you end up giving them a bigger cup because their cup size is small so today we are going to be focusing on the cup size so we are going to be taking this dart based on the cup size of the client we are working with so for this i'm working with a ball size of 45 and under bust of 41 so you can see that the difference there is four inches the difference between the bust circumference and the under bust is four inches now for this for a client with difference of four inches it means that this person is less busty so for this what i'm going to do is to use a total width total dart width of two inches now how i decide to share it totally depends on me i can decide to impute one one inch here and one inch here or put half inch here and 1.5 here or also put 0 0.75 here and 1.25 here so it's totally up to me so for this difference of four inches i'm doing 0 0.75 here and i'm pushing the other 1.25 on this part here now if i'm working with a client that has different of um three to four inches you use two inches as the total that with here so for difference of five you use 2.25 for difference of six you use 2.5 and for difference of seven and eight you use three inches and for difference of nine and above use 3.5 now on this overboard tightening for a difference of five and below you use 0 0.75 here and 0 0.75 here six and above you use one one inch here I hope you understand so having taken this 0 0.75 here and 1.25 here so you can decide that from your blouse length you can go up by two inches to get your dart but i like taking my dart here i like opening here up by 0 0.25 so i'm going to open this dart up by 0 0.25 here and i'll connect from this underboss all the way to the blouse length having done this what I'm going to do before connecting the curve here, what I'm going to do is the overboard tightening. So the, remember I said below 5 inches, 5 and below, you do 0 0.75. So the difference I have here is 4. So I'm doing 0 0.75. So this is 0 0.75 on this side and 0 0.75 on this side. And I'll connect. So you can either connect this with a straight line here or you connect with a curve line so for this you now always connect with a straight line but in today's class i'm going to be connecting this with a curve with the curve part of my ruler so the curve part works too after this overboard that i'm also going to do the underboard that so you can see how i'm placing my rule when i'm doing the overboard i make sure the fuller part is coming down but when i'm doing the underboard the fuller part of my curve is going up and also connect here so in this i'm making sure that i do not touch this line here the essence is to avoid every sharp edge so i'm going out by at least from here by at least 0 0.25 the essence the important thing is for me to touch this point here and this last that line after getting this, the next thing we are going to do is to impute all our circumference. But before we do that, we are going to redraw our armhole. So first thing we are going to do is to measure what we have from here to here and divide it by 2. So by the time I divide it by 2, I have 4.25. So the same, the 4.25 is still on this line. So I'm going to leave the armhole. So you may divide and the midpoint of here falls below this line. All you need to do is to redraw this line i hope you understand so now that this is clear what we are going to do is to start taking all the run measurement so i'm working with both 45 divided by 4 is 11.25 if you're using a full sleeve you add half inch for ease but if you're using a strap you don't add half inch now on this part here you can decide to measure what you have here so i have like 0 0.25 and you add it back I'll come to the underboss. I'm working with underboss of 41 divided by 4 is 10.25. And I'll replace these two inches that intake. Waist length is also 41. That is 10.25. And I'll measure what I have here. I have about 1.5. I'll replace it here. I'll come here. 
on the damp part i'm making use of the hip circumference for this blast length so i'm working with hip 47 i'll divide it by four and i'll have 11.75 so I'll measure what I have here. It's half inch. I'll replace it. The next thing to do is to connect all the dots together. After this connection, the next thing we are going to do is to impute our boss that. So the boss that is simply the difference between your front waist length and back waist length. So the, the difference I am having here is 2 inches. So I'll come down from this boss point line here by 2 inches and connect back to this point. After that, we redraw the armhole and also get our neckline. So to do the armhole, what I'm going to do now is to get my strap to strap. So the strap to strap I'm working with is 10.5. To get your strap to strap, you have to measure from one of your bra strap to the other. So the front part of your body, you measure from one of your bra strap to the other or your client's bra strap to the other. So what I have is 10.5. I'll divide it by 2 and I have 5.25. So this is 5.25 and I will replace this 1.5 inches that intake. So this is it. Next thing I'm going to do is from this point, I'll connect, I'll get my armhole. And for the neckline, if you want it straight, you leave it so you can do any neckline of your choice. So for this, I want a sweetheart neckline. I'm coming down from this point here by 1.75. So you can do above that, you can come down below that, it all depends on what you want and I'll connect. So this is it for this car, but before I round up, what I'm going to do is to measure what I have from this dark leg here to this point and from here to this point to make sure they are equal. So I have about 5.5 here, I'll make sure I have 5.5 here so you can see this one is shorter. So the same 5.5 I have there, I will impute it here. So from this boss point here, upwards. And I'll redraw back the neckline there. So this way, when you are joining these two pieces, they will meet up. So I'll blend it back. So the next thing I'm going to do is to slash this waist that here to be able to close up this boss that. And on this part here, you can decide to leave it straight, but I want my little bit curvy. So I'm going up from this line here by 1.5 inches. And I will slant it to this last dark leg. So this is what I have. Next is for me to slash to be able to close up this bust that. So after slashing, what I will do is to fold here up so you can decide to slash through it or just fold it this way. And place it on this bust point line. After that, you use your tape to hold it down. So having done this, you can see that these two lines are no longer meeting up. These lines have shifted. So we are going to redraw the line. And here, if you notice any sharp point here, all you need to do is to blend it up. And also blend it up. So guys, you can see what we have. Next thing I'm going to do is to cut this out. So this is it for the front. Next thing we are going to do now is to draft out the back part. So guys, this is for the back part here. And it, as you can see, this is my shoulder line here. And this is my center back. This is not my zipper allowance. We'll be getting the zipper allowance much more later. So this is the chest line here. The same um, 10 inches I have on the front part. So this is 16 inches for the back waist length and the back top length or blouse length i have here is 25 so the difference is two inches which gave us our boss that please ignore the first line you see on the blouse length 
that was a mistake so i have to get the blouse length for the back is by removing subtracting your difference the difference between your front and back waist length from the full blouse length so the front i worked with 27 26 plus one and for the back i'm working with 24 plus one so the difference between the 27 and this one so this is the front is 27 why this is 25 that is the essence of the bust that we have so that by the time we have eliminated that two inches by the side this back and the front will meet up by the side i hope you understand so if you want you can impute the under bust line so i want to impute the under bust line so i'll start measuring from the difference between the front and back waist length so i'm working with two i'll place the two on the shoulder line and measure the under bust line so the under bust I'm working with is 14.5. So you can see my 14.5. I'm going to rule my under bust line. Remember, you can also drop this back part without including the under bust line. So for this, we do not need the neckline at all. Next thing I'm going to do is to get the shoulder width divided by 2. So I'm working with shoulder 16 divided by 2 is 8. 8. And I'll come down by 1 inch for the back shoulder slope. And from here, I'll connect to the chest line but before i do that i'll also get the same 8 inches i have on the shoulder here i got this chest line remember how i got it from the front is also the same thing so from here to here is the bust circumference divided by 6 plus 1.5 and this is the additional one inch i added for shoulder slope after this i'll get my off shoulder drop down so remember i did six inches so i'm also going to come down here by six inches so at this point if your new armhole came down below this chest line here so you redraw your armhole the same way you did for the front but because my still falls on this line here that is why i have to leave this line like this i hope you understand so before i impute the body circumference what i'm going to do first is to do the back tightening so for this i'm doing a back tightening of one inch so this one inch is not constant you can do 0 0.5 0 0.75 you can also do one it depends on how deep the back of the person you're working with is so from the one inch i'll connect down to the blast length and up to the new shoulder line and after connecting the back tightening line to now serve as our new center back the initial straight line that we made will no longer be needed so from this new center back here I'm going to divide the nipple to nipple by 2. So nipple to nipple I'm working with is four, 8 divided by 2 is 4. So from here to here is 5 inches. Remember there is 1. So these 5 inches, I'm going to take these 5 inches from this initial center back. So from this blast length now to this new shoulder line. So this is 5 inches. The reason for this is for us to have a straight line that'll connect after this what i'm going to do is to come to this waist here i'm tightening i'm doing a dart of 0 0.75 on both sides and here the same way i open the front up by 0 0.25 so i'm going to open here up by 0 0.25 0 0.25 and 0 0.25 and i'll connect to the waistline so, so you can decide to read your line straight up here but for me i always open my up by 0 0.25 on both sides and from here what i will do is to connect to the waist so guys after this we we'll start getting around measurement so from this new center back here i'm going to measure the ball circumference divided by four here so I'm going to replace what I have here. This is one inch. So the dart I have here, I'm going to replace it. One inch plus my half inch for ease. Working with under bust of 41 divided by 4 is 10.25. So I'm going to impute the 10.25 and I'll also replace the dart on the under bust line. I'm also working with waist of 41 divided by 4 is 10.25. I'll also replace the 1.5 inches dart intake. And on the blast length, I'm working with the hip circumference. So the hip I'm working with is 47 divided by 4 is 11.75. I impute the 11.75 and also measure the dart on the blast length and replace it. And next is to connect all the points together. 
And after that, the next thing to do is to impute the strap to strap. So I'm working with a strap to strap of 10.5 divided by 2 is 5.25. So I'm going to measure the 5.25. And also replace the dart. And the next thing is to draw my armhole. And for the back neckline, I came down by 2 inches from the off shoulder. And um, I'm connecting my curve. So here you can do any neck depth of your choice. You can also decide to leave it straight. It all depends on what you want. So guys, this is what we have. Remember, I also went up by one and a half inches for the blouse length on the front. And for this back, I'm also going up by one and a half inches. And I'll connect this curve. Remember, this is not constant. You can decide to leave it straight. Now what I'm going to do is to impute my zipper allowance. I'm using zipper allowance of 1.5 and I'm starting from the new center back, not from the old center back, please. So this one and half inches, by the time I use half inch to turn this with the lining, I'll be left with one inch for the zipper allowance. So guys, this is what we have. So what I'm going to do now is to blend this up so I can either fold it this way because by the time I cut this out, you notice that there will be a shortage on this one because this is higher than this. So to do that, what I'm going to do is to measure what I have from here to here and from here to here. So I have 9.75 and when I measure here, I have 9.5. So I'm going to add back that 0.25 shortage that I have here. And we draw the neckline so that by the time I'm joining the two pieces, no one will be longer than the other. So guys, this is what we have. Note that we have not added all the necessary seam allowances to this. We only have seam allowance at the down part and by the zipper area. Now we are going to be indicating all the parts that we need seam allowance because by the time we are transferring this to fabric, we'll be adding all other seam allowances. So we are going to slash these two open and we are going to indicate. So we are adding 0 0.5, 0 0.5 here, up 0 0.5, 0 0.5. So by the side, you decide how many inches you normally work with. I hope you understand. So it's good that you indicate it so that by the time you are taking this, you're transferring this to the fabric, you know where to put your same allowance. So what we are going to do now is to cut this out. So guys, this is the back pattern here and this is what we have for the front. You can see all of them looking so beautiful. Now I've also used this to make a madam blouse and the link to the tutorial is on the comment section. There you get to learn how to transfer these patterns to fabric, how to laminate your lace fabric and how to cut pad. So a madam blouse. So if you're yet to subscribe, kindly hit on the subscribe button, like, comment, and share. I'll see you in the next tutorial. I'm Mother Woman. Bye for now.